Welcome back to another installment of Flat File Fridays. In 1902, German immigrant Otto Timmy obtained a patent for his method of producing figured or designed pile fabric, which led to the founding of his company, the Timmy Textile Corporation. The corporation was relocated from New York to Wilmington, North Carolina in the 1950s and primarily produced upholstery materials and wall coverings. The company also produced textiles for the funerary and automotive industries as well. The Textile Corporation ended production in 1983, but was able to save and preserve an excellent representation of American interior decorating history from the colonial revival period to the modern period of the 1960s. Many of the textile swatches in the Gregg's collection came from the William E. Roshan Museum, an in-house collection of archival resources named after Timmy's chairman of the board used for researching and developing new textile products. The collection items also included a number of books and reference materials, as well as original artwork or croquis used in the development of design. These were sketched on tracing paper or another thicker paper material and used to experiment with shape, color, and scale. Once the imagery was laid out, pencil marks were added to indicate where and how the design should be turned in order to create a repeating pattern and where colors should be filled in. Sometimes the designer had to literally cut and paste an area of the pattern to correct or experiment with alternate layouts. Color was applied with materials such as gouache paint, marker, or other thick crayon-like materials. In some cases, the color shown on the croquis indicated not what color the textile should be, but rather what type of woven stitch would be used in a certain area of the pattern. Though much of textile design and development today is done on the computer, it's interesting to see these documents from a century ago showing a very similar process.